just got to our afternoon spot now and we just set up getting a camera out and then hopefully we're going to get some nice birds now and I was just thinking with that region parrot image before how amazing the R5 is because I was shooting with the 600 millimeter 1.4 extender 840 millimeters and I was able to track the region parrot along the sky and then get this amazing banking pulse with this beautiful background and so now I'm looking forward to go into the hide and get some more images. Just in the height now, ready to go. A few birds coming already, so hopefully we can get some nice shots. Whole bunch of Malga parrots coming in, looking quite nice on that perch. Oh. It's funny, cheap honey coming in. Oh. Funky birds. Beautiful birds coming in, but it's very sun and shade and there's a nice one walking up the perch. Two of them right on the perch. The light is very difficult there now. Man, how can there be no nice light at all? And our light is almost gone now. Hoping to get some more family ring next to them, just above. Nice, definitely the nicest shot of the day. Just finished up quite an enjoyable but also a little bit frustrating afternoon session. We got a lot of birds but the light was very very tricky and then when the light was really nice this caravan came in and just chased all the other birds away and then right at the end of the day we got a few more shots of the Malga parrots and the Mali ringneck. So I think we've got some nice images and we're looking forward to getting some more tomorrow. Early morning, just got to our spots. Beautiful fog and sunrise right behind me. So we're just gonna put out a couple of perches now, get ready and hopefully we get some birds. Just set up inside the hide, it's still pretty dark. I saw 12,800, 5.6, 320th of a second, but I've already seen a few brown swings around. It's quite foggy outside, a bit of overcast, so we should have some nice soft light, but it also means the birds are probably going to come in to the water a bit later, so we just have to wait and hopefully get some nice birds very soon. And what's been really nice in here as well is that we're able to use the electronic shutter. If you remember the video from a few years ago where we were in this hide with three DSLR cameras and it's just the most ridiculous sound ever, these three shutters. And now it's all completely quiet which hopefully helps the birds to feel a bit more safe as well. Shooting at a pretty high shutter speed because I might not want to miss some action that potentially could happen. Sometimes hard to pick a bird to focus on when there's so many. After waiting for quite some time we finally had a few birds come in but then the lens hood of the 5.6500 fell off and spooked them all away so that was a bit unfortunate but 
the light is still very nice it's nice and cloudy it's probably why the activity is a bit slow but at the same time it should allow us to shoot for a long time so hopefully we will get some more birds coming in but so far we've waited for maybe an hour and a half and only had like six or seven birds so let's see what's gonna happen a lot of miners coming in now they're probably yellow-throated miners or hybrids Check it out, I think that could be Blackhead Miner. Oh, even more birds coming. I can't believe there's so many miners and some blackhead miners. That is so cool. Finally, just having a few more birds come in, some yellow-throated miners, more mulga parrots. We still haven't seen any mallee ringnecks, but it's been pretty good, lots of action. They're just going a bit wild, those miners, some mulga parrots as well. Carwang always coming in chasing all the other birds away so still kind of slow activity but we're finally getting some nice images there wasn't much happening where we were in the morning there's a few birds coming in but then no birds anymore for a long time so we decided to switch heights and go back to the height where we were yesterday afternoon in the hope to see some more honey eaters and parrots and maybe even a galah coming in so fingers crossed for this afternoon the weather is still nice and overcast so perfect conditions but then it seems like those bit cooler overcast conditions also make the birds not as keen to come to the water so there's always a downside with that but we definitely prefer these conditions and less bird over that funny mottled sunlight. Finally, we had a really nice group of mulga parrots coming in, posing really nicely in our perch. Got a nice shot of a pair. And what I think is important here is if you're shooting with such a bright background like this, you can reuse high ISOs like 3200 like I've been doing on my R5. And the noise doesn't show up too much. And I think if there's a lot of birds, a lot of action, it's probably more important that you get a sharp pulse and then worry about the noise on the computer rather than using lower ISO and like missing your shots in the field. All in all, a really good day, a bit cold, a bit exhausting if you're sitting in the hide all day, not moving much and not too much activity. But then those few spurts of birds coming in always get your adrenaline pump and you're getting the shots that you really want.
Tomorrow morning we're going to go out one more time, the last morning on this trip and then we're going to go on our long drive home back to Melbourne. Last morning we just set up in the hide, no clouds at all today so the sun should come in pretty soon and give us more challenging light but hopefully also more birds it's very cold so you can see we're all wrapped up even wearing gloves excited to see what today brings before we head back on the road to melbourne <laughs> so many birds to point my camera I don't even know where to focus, it's just so many marks. Oh, that one didn't have a tail. Yeah, yeah. Poison is on that one. Yeah. It's gone on the west there. So good. A lot of manga pads coming in. The only problem now is that the light is really poor, really mottled light, so you have to pick a good spot and hope that the bird lands in that nice smoke coming. Oh, your neck. Looking good, high shutter speed, high hours. Oh, trying to get some flight shots. It's like the only good spot. Mm. Purchase in shade, the background in the sun, giving beautiful soft colors. <laughs> so many birds again. Oh look, there's a few red water birds coming in. Oh no, now it's trying to chase the Marga parrots away. Oh god, they're kidding. What an end to this trip with so many birds coming in, finally giving us amazing opportunities for some images. So all in all, a great end to the trip that started off slowly over the last week and then ended in this real highlight today. Hope you enjoyed coming along with us, seeing this beautiful country and the beautiful birds we managed to photograph. And if you want to know how I set up at these sites to get the birds onto my perches and what perches to use, make sure to check out my video perch where I show you exactly how to get the birds. And if you then want to know how to edit your bird images after you've taken them, make sure to check out my masterclass also down there in the description where I teach you step by step the editing process that you need to learn to make your bird images look absolutely amazing and how to deal with difficult backgrounds, how to remove things from your images and so much more. It's definitely worth checking out. There's hundreds of people who have bought it and loved it. And there's also a great bundle for you available if you want to buy both videos at the same time. Other than that, please give me a thumbs up for this video. Make sure to leave me comments with your thought. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.